Hey, what's going on guys, NSC85. Today I want to show you exactly how to take down and disassemble a 1911 style of firearm all the way down to basically just the frame. I want to show you a, a detailed view how to take apart every piece and then in a second video I'm going to show how to put it all back together. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing I'm going to go over is what kind of tools you're going to use. You're going to need some type of small brass or nylon hammer, a uh, small punch and a brass punch, tweezers, the kind that when you squeeze it opens and when you let go it closes. You'll want a nice pair of those. Some grease and then you'll need a couple of screwdrivers. This one I'm going to be using for the grip screws and this one will be for the magazine catch. So those are the tools that you're going to need. I also recommend having a bowl handy that's uh, magnetic and what that'll do is when you're taking all your parts out you can throw them in here and you know you're not going to lose them. Alright, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, now the 1911 I'm going to be working on is my Remington R1 and let me go ahead and take it out of my Nate Squirt tactical holster here. It's all empty. Okay, we're going to set the magazine aside. So here's my Remington R1. What we're going to do first is we're going to separate the slide from the frame. Okay, and that's pretty easy. Uh, you want to make sure that it's clear and the hammer's back. We're going to put the safety on. And what I recommend is using a bushing wrench which looks like this and we're just gonna push down on here okay we twist and I like to go to right about here you can see the the ledge you're gonna push down slightly and then turn the barrel bushing this is under an extreme amount of spring pressure so be very careful that you don't aim this at your eyeball. Okay, so here's the cover. Now we have no spring tension on the slide. Okay, there's two notches here. One is the slide catch and the other is the takedown notch. So we're gonna take the safety off and slide this back till you get to right there. On this side you can push on that and this will pop out. Now you can also get a hold of a tool like this and that will help you get underneath it and help bring it up like so. And since this is plastic it's not going to mar the finish at all. Okay, so we got this piece out. Now we can just slide the slide forward away from the frame. Here, we're going to set the frame aside for right now. So here is our slide. We got our barrel and our spring. You can pull the spring off the guide rod. The barrel. The barrel link is right here. Okay, it just goes back and forth. Push that forward and when you get to right about here you're going to have to push your bushing. It was over here. You want to push it over here. And as you can see, there's a lug right there. And that is what makes it so it cannot come out. So you got that. There's the bushing and the barrel. Set those aside. Okay, so here's our slide. We're going to look at the back. You see the firing pin here? and this is the firing pin stop. And this is where the difference between the Series 70 and Series 80 comes in. Series 80 style has this plunger right here. And you have to take your thumb and push that plunger in slightly and then press down on the firing pin. Then you let go of the plunger and the firing pin will be caught. You can just bring this right out. 
Okay, there's our firing pin stop. Now if you touch this plunger again, the firing pin's going to come out at about 100 miles an hour. So just put your finger over it and you can let the tension go. Okay, that'll put it back to where it was. You got to depress it again and it'll come out. There's our firing pin and firing pin spring. The next step is to get the plunger out and to do that I got these long q-tips and on our extractor, the extractor is the part right here, right here. What I do is I come from this side and just push slightly on the extractor. And the plunger comes right out. There is a spring behind it, so make sure you don't lose that. To get the extractor out, you can push right here, but what I like to do again is take the long q-tip and just push from this end and it'll come right out. So now that we have the slide all disassembled, move on to the frame. So we got our frame here. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take the grips off and I have a flathead screwdriver that is the exact size of the slot as you can see. And what that does is it makes sure that I'm not going to strip the screw at all. Righty tighty, lefty loosey. That's the first one. And with the magazine out, you can put your finger inside the magazine well and push up, and your grip will come off. So I'm just going to skip ahead, do the exact same thing on the other side. Okay, so as you can see, I got the grips off both sides. Now what we're going to do is you're going to take the small brass punch, and I just used the barrel bushing wrench, and we're looking at this little pin right here. There's a rounded side and a dimpled side. We're going to pound on the dimpled side downward. You should note too that the hammer is in the upward position. If it is in this position, you want to hang on to it, depress the grip safety, pull the trigger, and just bring it up gently. Okay, you don't want any pressure on the hammer. Just give it a good tap. See, it's coming out the other side. Sometimes you got to push it a little bit more. Like so. Okay, here's our mainspring housing. We'll just slide that down. And this spring, there we go. This is the sear spring. So now everything's kind of loose up here. Uh, the, the thumb safety we will have to take out. And what I do is push it up as I'm pushing on this rounded piece. And just kind of wiggle it back and forth. Okay, and that comes right out. And with the thumb safety removed, make special note I already knew on mine that this would not come flying out because mine is kinked but some of them are not so when you're taking your thumb safety off make sure and have your thumb about right here because when that comes out this is going to shoot out that way after the thumb safety is out we can remove the grip safety so now we just got our hammer and our hammer spur and our sear right there you'll see two pins right here. Boom, boom. Very simple to get out. You just push. There's no need for any tapping at all. These are just very loose in there. This one's for the hammer. The hammer will come out along with this piece which is part of the extra safety of the Series 80 style. Take this one out and our sear disconnector will all come out. So there's all three parts there. After that's done, we can then take the magazine catch out. You can see I got another small screwdriver that's the exact fit. And this also has a lug on it, so what you do is 
on this side the magazine catch I'm gonna push on that a little bit and twist the screw as it comes right out okay I'll show you this see how there's a channel there that that screw goes in to get that out all you have to do is then twist it this way and there's some spring tension under there but I'm just gonna leave it the way that is for right now after the magazine catches out the trigger will come right out to the back so there it is completely disassembled my next video will be putting everything back together the way it was so it looks like a gun again thanks for watching guys i hope this was helpful any questions or comments please leave them below i'm really good about getting back to you guys so have a good day see you later this is under a lot of spring tension as you can see